Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll be conducting two different experiments to see what kind of effects that a magnetic field has on plasma. For this one, I like to see how the magnetic field would affect the plasma when I force the arc in on itself. To do this, I'll use a glass jar and I'll have two glass tubes inside with the electrodes facing inside of those. And that way the arc would have to force its way through the tube before it could arc itself and go back through the and turning the high voltage on, you see basically just a neon sign transformer. Now I'm gonna hook up my microwave transformer capacitors to this and uh, see what the high voltage would do to these glass tubes and see if there's any effect of the magnetic field as the arc is collapsing in on itself. And can't really see much from this frame rate. Turning out the lights, see if there's any better effect, and it's a nice little glow, and you can really see the uh, shutter speed of my camera. Nothing impressive. And changing the shutter speed to even faster, you see less. Great, right? And so going to the high speed, uh, you just see a bright flash, don't see anything else, and you get to see the after glow of the glass tubes, which looks pretty interesting. Didn't know glass could glow incandescent like that after it gets bright. All right, going on to a even bigger capacitor. You see a bright flash, you can see the glow of the glass too. At this point, I just want to see what happens after the bright flash, so I'm going with a bigger capacitor bank anyways and seeing what would happen. And as you can see, it explodes. Going to the high speed, you can see it didn't completely explode, it just popped off the uh, glass tube and so I was able to finagle it back in place by just bouncing it around and tried it again. This time it completely exploded the glass tube. <laughs> and so that's done with that one. It's pretty cool though. You can see how it completely charred the inside of the, the jar and inside both glass tubes look like they're pretty charred as well. So for the next experiment, I'm going with the lightning bolt setup with the coil to increase the magnetic field of that plasma. And the coil actually completes the circuit, so the vacuum is the switch, and I don't need to add an external switch. So this is what it looks like. And going to the high speed of just the microwave transformer capacitors, you can see that the plasma just arcs slowly up till it finally discharges and completely drops all of his energy at that same time. Looks cool. Looks like a lightning strike. So going again with the bigger capacitor bank and yeah, the entire thing lights up, can't see anything. Basically look at the after effects and what's interesting is you can actually see the plasma spiraling up at the end. like the remnants of the plasma is spiraling. So what it looks like what's happening is you have the lightning bolt and you have the plasma spinning from the magnetic field. And as the arc is separated, you have the plasma expanding, but it's still can maintaining that momentum and spinning. And so you get that nice spiral going up, which that's what it looks like going up right on this. And it looks pretty interesting. I don't know, what are you guys theories? So I recently just bought me a bigger capacitor bank. <laughs> 
and uh, this is a beast. It's taken me a while to actually make this thing safe, relatively safe, where it's not going to paint my inside of my trailer. This is 44,000 joules at 4,800 volts. Yeah. Thanks for watching.